Hey everybody, so a little bit of different content here. Pretty much everything I've talked about on this channel up to this point has been about NHL hockey. But being from Massachusetts, I get to see some awesome college hockey. Um, and obviously with a lot of great top teams in the country being from Hockey East and, and right around my area, I get to see some incredible NCAA action and some very, very good players and very, very good teams play each other. And last night, I went to the Boston University versus Providence College game, and uh, I just want to talk about that game a little bit and talk about some players from both teams that I think uh, really stood out to me, looked really good, and I think have NHL futures. So before we get into the video, I just quickly want to remind everyone to please hit that thumbs up button and give the video a like. That greatly helps out the channel. And if you're new to the channel, uh, please hit that subscribe button and uh, follow along for all my hockey content uh, this season and all year round. And this is uh, definitely a little bit different of a video. I haven't talked about college hockey much on here, although I do watch quite a bit of it. And uh, maybe this will bring in a, a new, some new audience members for this channel. So I do want to talk about college more. Um, but uh, let, let's get into it here. So last night I was there. At, at Boston University, at PC, 6-5 uh, to five Providence College win. Very, very exciting game to watch. I'm going to talk about the game as a whole at fir first and then get into some players. Um, the game was one of the most fun hockey games I have seen all year long at any level, NHL, AHL, or college. This was an incredibly fun game to watch. Really, really exciting. A lot of back and forth action. Obviously, very high scoring with a 6-5 to five finish. Um, it was a very physical game as well. You could tell that these teams do not like each other. There's obviously a strong rivalry between PC and BU. Um, and, and it was an extremely physical game, especially in the first period. It was, it was physical throughout, but because it was a close game, obviously no one wanted to take any stupid penalties or get hit with a major or anything like that. So it did kind of, the big hits kind of waned off as the game went on and teams were more, more focused on just trying to win the game. The first period, guys were like taking half ice runs at each other. I mean, they were coming from completely across the ice just to blast the other guy through the boards. And it was a very, very physical hockey game and a lot of fun to watch. Um, there were some huge hits early. Uh, guys got caught with their head down and just got absolutely creamed. Uh, and, and there was, uh, you know, not a whole lot of scrums or anything like that, but so a few times there was some decent pushing and shoving after the whistle. It was just an entertaining game. And then obviously you add all the goals on top of that. Uh, it was real back and forth. Both teams had a goal taken away um, because one, BU had a goal taken away because of offsides. PC had a goal taken away because it was knocked down with a high stick. So a score could have been even higher. Um, it was just a really, really fun hockey game. And it was very physical, a lot of action, uh, very fast-paced, back-and-forth game. And, and PC, my favorite college hockey team and where my sister goes to school, obviously came away with the win. And that was a, it was a great night overall. Some players I want to talk about that really stood out to me. I've got three from each team who I think have real NHL futures ahead of them and looked very, very good. The first one from Boston University is defenseman David Ferentz. Um, Ferentz is a 20-year-old th third-round draft pick of the Nashville Predators, which is interesting because Nashville drafts a lot of BU guys. If you remember, Dante Fabro played for Boston University and then at the end of the season last year, went up to Nashville and now is uh, on the Nashville Predators in his full, first full season. He was a BU defenseman. Now David Ferentz, who is clearly BU's best defenseman, and I would say probably their best overall player, um, is also a Nashville Predators draft pick. He was drafted in 2017 in the third round, 92nd overall by the Predators, and he looked very, very, very good last night. He had a hat trick and an assist for four total points as a defenseman. Also, his total numbers on the season so far have been absolutely unreal. This is his, 
uh, junior year with BU. Through nine games played this year, he has eight goals already. Eight goals in nine games as a defenseman. Also has six assists for a total of 14 points. Um, he has been really, really good. For, for Boston University and it's kind of it's it's kind of a breakout season for him he had 20 points all of last year in 37 games now this season through nine games he already has 14 um the David Ferentz I think is going to be an NHL player and um he he's clearly Boston University's best defenseman I think he's their best overall player and um, he was absolutely outstanding for them last night and it looks like he's been outstanding for them all season long Another player I want to talk about from BU is Trevor Zegras. Um, he is a forward. He's a was picked first in the first round, number nine overall by the Anaheim Ducks in this past year's draft. He's only 18. He's a freshman. He looked really, really good. He scored a goal last night uh, on the season. He already has 12 points in nine games, four goals and eight assists. Uh, if, and, I mean, to be over a point per game as a freshman is just phenomenal. And uh, you can tell watching him play why he was a top 10 draft pick in the NHL. Um, the, the talent is obviously there. Um, he's very quick, uh, not afraid to play physically either. He's not the biggest guy, but he threw some big hits and was very involved physically in this game last night. It was a lot of fun to watch and um, overall played pretty darn well. And... Uh, he he's a guy I definitely you know you you watch him play and you go yeah that that guy's got an NHL future ahead of him he he there's a reason he was drafted so high so Zegris is another guy from BU to watch and my final player from Boston University is uh Patrick Harper who also played on the first line with uh Trevor Zegris he's also a Nashville Predators draft pick he was drafted in the fifth round in 2016 he's 21 years old thing about um about uh Harper is that he is small 5'7 150 pounds he is small but one thing I really really noticed about him that really jumped off the page was how quick he is he's very very quick great skater um slick with the puck on his stick but his his just speed and quickness overall his ability to to uh, you know just move out on the ice really stood out to me he was up and down the ice all night long and um you know I think size is probably going to be a bit of a hindrance for him at, at the uh, at the professional level but if he can put some weight on and use his quickness to his advantage uh he might be able to overcome that and I mean he did look good last night for uh for BU um he finished he finished the game. Uh, he didn't score, but he did grab an assist. Um, but just his, his quickness and his ability to, to move around and go up and down the ice really jumped out to me. And I, I can see why he was drafted, even though he's such a sm smaller guy. So moving on now to the Providence College players that I really noticed. One uh, de was defenseman Michael Callahan for PC. Callahan now um, 20 years old. From Massachusetts, um, pretty good sized defenseman, 6'2", 196 pounds. I think once he goes to the, to into the professional ranks, he'll go over 200 pounds. Um, he's a fifth round draft pick of the Arizona Coyotes, and uh, he right now clearly to me is Providence College's best defenseman. Um, he's he's not necessarily a huge offensive defenseman. He does have 10 points in 10 games with two goals and eight assists, and the, Last year, he had 10 points all of last season in 41 games. Um, th this year, he's he's producing offensively a lot more, but he's just, he's solid in his own end. He makes a lot of really good defensive plays. He's physical. Uh, he's not afraid to throw, you know, a hit when he needs to. And he has got a really good stick defensively. His stick always seems to be in the right position. Not, you know, breaks up a lot of passes, a lot of good poke checks um, against the opposing team on the rush. Um, he, he's clearly PC's de best D man with Jacob Bryson gone. And, uh, he, he definitely stood out to me. And I think that he's somebody who as a, as a later round draft pick could potentially come up and certainly play in the AHL when he's done at PC and maybe even be like a bottom pair NHL type defenseman. Um, 
because he's having a really good year this year, and he played extremely well for Providence College last night. Next guy I want to talk about who I think was the, the best player on the ice of anyone last night and probably one of the best players in the country this year is Jack Dugan from PC. He's a forward. He's a fifth-round draft pick of the Vegas Golden Knights in 2017. He's 21 years old in his, uh, I believe, sophomore season at PC. Yes, sophomore season at PC. Um He's a winger, and boy, does he put up points. He didn't score last night, but don't worry, he had four assists. So uh, he had four points in the game last night, uh, assisted on four out of the six PC goals. Um, this guy, watching him play, he's one of the top players in the country, without a doubt. Uh, I think he has a huge, very, very bright NHL future ahead of him. Vegas got a late-round winner with this guy, I think, big time. Um, last season, his freshman year at PC, he played 41 games. He had 39 points as a freshman. I mean, what does that tell you right there? That's, that is talent. 10 goals and 29 assists as a freshman. But wait, here's what he's done so far this season. 10 games played, 5 goals, 19 assists already for 24 points in 10 games for Dugan already this year. Um, absolutely un unbelievable season so far a breakout year without a doubt he's he's somebody who if he keeps this up is going to be in Hobie Baker territory as far as the top players in the entire country um I don't know how much longer he's going to stay at PC he's only a sophomore but I definitely see him leaving early and going to play at the pro level um because he he's certainly capable I think he he was the best player out of anyone on the ice last night, and I think he's been that for the most part um, in mo and probably most of PC's games this year. I would say he's probably the best player on the ice. And, and for a star player who puts up a lot of points, he is not afraid to play physically either. Um, he throws hits. He gets involved after the whistle. He, he'll push and shove with guys. And I just, I, he, watching him play, he like looks like a pro hockey player. He is ready for professional hockey. And I think out of anyone um, that I've talked about on either of these teams, he probably has the brightest NHL future. I think he's the best player out of all of them. And uh, I, I would not be surprised to see him in a Vegas Golden Knights uniform in the near future. And finally, the last player also from PC is Tice Thompson, who's also a sophomore, 20 years old. Um, Fourth round draft pick by the New Jersey Devils in this past year's draft. Um, very, very good young goal scorer. Um, last year in his freshman year at PC, he had 25 points in 42 games. He's having a breakout season this year with uh, 16 points through his first 10 games, eight goals and eight assists. He had a goal last night for PC. Um, just really, really good hands, strong goal scorer, solid skater as well. Um, he's only going to get better as he gets older and develops more. He is on the smaller side. He's six feet tall, but he's only 165 pounds. I think, again, when you get him to the pro level, he's going to add weight and get a little bit bigger. And once he does that, uh, be believe me, he's... Um, He's going to be a solid pro. Uh, I definitely see an NHL future for him, and he's still, you know, obviously on the younger side at only 20. I think he, he has a very bright future ahead of him. So those all those players, I think their NHL draft picks, I think we'll see, and certainly in the pro ranks at some point, um, I think men, many of them we'll see at the NHL level. Um you know, Zegras, especially David Ferentz, I definitely see as an NHL defenseman. Jack Dugan, I think, is the best player out of all of them. Tice Thompson, I think, does make the NHL at some point. Um, Callahan and Harper, maybe, you know, more, you know, unsure right now. Although Callahan, I do see as a solid two-way defensive player. Um, I think he, he could definitely make it as a two-way defenseman. And then Harper, just because he's older, but he's kind of having a breakout year this year. Um, so again, those, those are the players that stood out to me. I thought looked really, really good in that game last night, I think are the better players on their teams and, um, definitely look like they have pro hockey in their, uh, in their futures to say the least. So 
With that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.